Yodha is a cheesy, chest-thumping, low-on-logic thriller that rides brazenly to a crowd-pleasing finale, mostly on the shoulders of a solid Siddharth Malhotra. Once again, the actor is in uniform. He plays Arun Katyal, the head of a special task force named Yodha, which was founded by his father, who died in the line of duty. Arun is a force of nature. He believes in action before negotiation. From the beginning to the end, he's in combat, putting his nation above all else, including his life and his wife. Until the army doesn't come, we should try to negotiate. To negotiate is never the style of Yodha. The many soldiers of the nation Siddharth has played before. From a gentleman, Sundar Sushil Rizki, to Ayari, to Sher Shah, from a gentleman, Sundar Sushil Rizki, to Ayari, to Sher Shah, to Mission Majnu, to the recent Indian police force, seem to have provided strong training. Because the actor stays sturdily impressive and committed even as the film's screenplay becomes more and more preposterous. Arun gets shot, stabbed and pummeled by the baddies, but like the Energizer bunny, he just keeps going and going. And somehow, with square-jawed determination and a singular mix of conviction and charm, Siddharth subverts the silliness and keeps Yodha afloat, which isn't an easy task. The film has been directed by debutant Sagar Amre and Pushkar Oja. Pushkar has been an assistant director on Siddharth Anand's War and Pathan. Sagar has done stints as script and continuity supervisor on Pathan and Uri the Surgical Strike. Both were ADs on Dhadak, the Sairat remake directed by Shashank Khaitan, who is a co-producer on this film. In other words, Sagar and Pushkar have done their time learning the art of the big Bollywood action thriller. They combine the broad-stroked storytelling with dialed-up Deshbhakti. One of the signature moves of the Yodhas is a tri-color smoke signal. Subtlety, like logic, is in short supply in Yodha. The film's story, screenplay and dialogue has been written by Sagar. The narrative repeats that much-used trope of a superhero team which comes under fire after a mission goes wrong and there is collateral damage. Their very existence comes into question. Inquiry is finished until you all suspend everyone. You've seen versions of this in the Avengers franchise, the Mission Impossible franchise and the animation film The Incredibles. Sagar combines this with that other much-used trope of a man whose life falls apart because somehow, willingly or unwillingly, his actions lead to tragedy and public failure. But then he gets another opportunity to redeem himself and he gives it everything. This was the spine of Joseph Conrad's iconic novel Lord Jim and since then has been reworked in several films including Yash Chopra's Kala Pathar and Chakte India. Despite these beats being familiar, Sagar and Pushkar managed to create some suspense, especially in the first half. Their heart revels in action and thrills. The building of tension. Will Arun be able to save the day or has he gone rogue? How best to utilize the confined spaces of an aircraft? Action director Sunil Rodriguez and Craig McRae, who has earlier worked on Mad Max, Fury Road, Jawan and Pathan, make good use of the aisles, the cargo area and even the bathroom, in which Arun and a burly opponent go at each other. The size of that bathroom made me wish that this fictitious airline was real. Because most airplane loos are like Munna Bhai's hostel room in medical college, so tiny that circuit remarks, Bhai, ye room to shuru hote hi khatam ho gaya. It's not just aircraft loose. Sagar and Pushkar's portrayal of the optics of peace between India and Pakistan, how an elite task force functions, how a hijack unfolds, even how plane machinery operates, is only loosely tethered to reality. Which is fine, because we're here for a popcorn entertainer and not for a lesson on aeronautics or geopolitics. But in the second hour, their grip on the storytelling loosens considerably. One big twist borders on unintentional comedy. It doesn't help that Sagar and Pushkar seem to be only marginally interested in the supporting characters. The women barely even qualify as cherry on the cake. Even though Rashi Khanna as Priyamvada is given a high-powered job, she's secretary to the PMO, she's mostly just widening her eyes at Arun's death-defying stunts or swooning over his romantic gestures. And I must pause here to make an official plea, which I have made before. Can directors please stop using Shah Rukh Khan and DDLJ as shorthand for love? It's going to be 30 years next year. Let's give it a rest and think of newer ways to portray chemistry between lovers. Priya and Arun are both cogs in the political system, sometimes on opposing sides.
This could have made for some crackling Mr. and Mrs. Smith style intrigue, but the directors choose to sidestep it. Though Priya's collection of sarees, costume designed by Thea Tek Chandani, is pretty impressive. Disha Patani as an air hostess has the juicier role, but is saddled with some ridiculous lines. And her acting skills still haven't caught up with her sexiness. There's also Arun's mother in a wheelchair, who, if I'm not wrong, doesn't have a single line. She's just wheeled in and out when directors need to raise the emotional stakes. The bad guys are as badly written. Most of them are generic Muslim terrorists or Pakistani soldiers gone rogue. And yes, they say Janab a lot. Bollywood really needs a better class of criminal. Usually, hijack dramas have at least one or two memorable passengers, so we can stay invested in whether they live or die. But here, they mostly remain types with minimal personality, and the CGI is as hit and miss as the writing. But despite these sizable bumps, Sagar and Pushkar keep the wheels moving fast enough for Yodha to stay watchable, even if at times our eyes are widening like Rashi's in sheer disbelief at what is happening on screen. And the directors do establish Siddharth Malhotra as a bona fide action hero. I'm excited to see the next installment of Yodha Save the World, or at least save the subcontinent. You can watch Yodha at a theatre near you. दोस्तों ये वैसा कोर्स नहीं है जहां पर आपको लगेगा कि एक टीचर आपको बिठाकर ध्यान दे रहा है ये वैसा कोर्स है जहां आपको लगेगा कि आपके कॉलेज की कैंटीन में एक सीनियर स्टूडेंट जो इस कैंपस में ज्यादा समय बिता चुका है आपको हल्के फुल्के तरीके से कुछ समझा रहा है बड़ा मजा आएगा इस कोर्स में आप हमें ज्वाइन कीजिए एफ क्लासरूम के स्क्रीन राइटिंग मास्टर क्लास के लिए सी उदय